right, what's up guys? My name is Zach and today I am driving a 1998 Ford Mustang convertible. Up front is a 3.8 liter V6 and down below is a four speed automatic transmission. Now I am super excited to be driving this here Mustang for a bunch of reasons, but the main fact is that I've reviewed a lot of Mustangs here on the channel, but I've never done this generation of Ford Mustang. This is called the SN95 and debuted in 1994 and ran all the way really until 2004. However, in 1998, we saw a big refresh and that's known as the New Edge Mustang. But this is a good old SN95 and I'm finally here to give my take on it. But before we get on to anything else, I have a website, zackpradle.com, where you check out stickers like this retro sticker pack I have available, as well as a big friggin' bottle sticker, both with free shipping. You could also submit your own vehicle to be reviewed by me through a quick and easy submission form. And you could read my behind the scenes blog to see what I'm filming before it comes out on the channel. But let's get back to that 3.8 liter Essex V6. Well, it makes 150 horsepower, which is not a lot. However, for the 1996 model year, it actually got a five horsepower bump because of the engine control unit was changed. So it actually made five more horsepower. I assume that coincided with the OBD2 implementation, but don't quote me on that. It's not a fast car. It's not even a quick car. I mean, it's kind of quick a little bit, but nothing crazy. Like I said, paired to it, four speed automatic transmission, nothing really too crazy to note. It's a four speed from the nineties. It's pretty lazy. It's pretty flimsy, but hey, I'm moving forward at this current point in time, so I can't hate on it too much. Last but not least, of course, the Mustang is rear wheel drive. So let's talk about the interior. Well, in front of me, I have six gear gauges. On the left is my fuel, coolant temperature, and speedometer. And on the right is my tachometer, battery voltage, and oil pressure. On the steering wheel, I have my cruise control options off to the left and right, but that is pretty much it. It has a nice pillowy airbag I've come to know and love from Ford in the 1990s and pretty much every other make and model from the 1990s. Off to the left, I do have a rear defroster switch as well as my headlights and a vent. And on the door, I have my power mirrors, power locks, and power windows. The door is where you start to notice that Ford didn't spend all of their money on this car. The interior is a little cheaply put together. Enjoy this incredible ASMR of a Ford Mustang door from 1998. Moving into the center, I have two climate control vents, then the climate controls themselves. Very, very basic here. How hot you want it, where you want it, and how fast do you want it? That's all they ask. I also have a rather period correct, but pretty terrible radio down below and a little extra cubby. And then I have a 12 volt outlet and the shifter. The shifter is very plasticky, very flimsy, but that's just how Ford did it back in the day. Then I do have cup holders, so we will do a big friggin' bottle test. And of course here in the Ford Mustang, it unfortunately fails, I guess par for the course. <laughs> Then I get this little coin holder thing, and then this is the power top operation. So you do have to latch and unlatch the top manually. There's a latch on either side of the windshield, but then it is a power operated top, which is very, very nice. Then I get a second 12 volt outlet and the center console. And then we got to talk about the seats. The seats are very comfortable. 1990s American seats are just fantastic from Chevy to Ford to Chrysler. They really nailed it. And I am very comfortable here in the convertible Mustang. But speaking of seats, we do have back seats. So let's go do a back seat review. All right, so we're in the back of the 1998 Ford Mustang convertible and obviously not a whole lot of room. If I do put the seat up, my knees are gonna be a little smashed. However, for kids, for smaller people, I understand I'm not a very small person. This is gonna be fine. This is gonna be enjoyable. You're gonna be able to enjoy the top-down experience, which is what this car is meant for. So this is a good back seat. I don't expect any more out of a convertible. Let's take a quick look at the trunk, and then we'll talk about the looks. I mean, first of all, let's enjoy the view here a little bit. It's a little windy today, but that's okay. On the key fob, I do actually have a trunk release button, which is very nice. 
come and pull it up. And that's like a little target top. Of course, you gotta have your old car essentials. Not a huge trunk, but for having a power folding top and for it being a convertible, this is definitely a huge perk of the 98 Mustang convertible compared to like a Miata or any other little convertible like that, especially the Chrysler Crossfire convertible. God, that thing was like a teacup for a trunk. This actually has a nice spacious trunk, which I love. Now we gotta talk about the looks, and this is my least favorite looking Mustang. I think it's a little too curvy, a little too eh. However, I do have a sense of nostalgia with these cars. I grew up around these Mustangs, being born in 97 myself. This is the Mustang from when I was very, very young. So I do have a love for it there, but overall, I don't think that these are really pretty. With all of that being said, let's get to my final thoughts here. Being an automotive journalist here on YouTube, if you wanna call me that, automotive journalist, loud mouth, annoying guy, whatever you wanna call me. I drive a lot of cars here on the channel. I've driven the Shelby GT350 from 2019, and I say that that is one of the best, if not the best American car ever made. And so you might be expecting me to say that this is trash. It's four speed automatic, it's a six cylinder, Nobody wants that. And in a performance sense, no, no one wants that. You're right. However, to completely throw this car out because it's a six cylinder automatic is kind of missing the point of the Mustang. The Mustang's original conception back in 1964 was a straight six, so six cylinder, three speed. So in a sense, this is one of the most true to form Mustangs there is. I think there's this weird conception about Mustangs now where they have to be the fastest things in the world, but they don't. I'm enjoying the top down just cruising through this quiet little lake town. I don't know if you can see it. Probably definitely not now. There's a giant lake over there and there's all these boat launches and it's a nice spring morning. I'm enjoying my drive here in this V6 Mustang. Yeah, it's not fast. And the automatic transmission is less decisive than your significant other deciding where to eat. But look at this, look at that beautiful, beautiful lake. I have the top down. I'm having a good time. This is what this Mustang was meant for. The Mustang is a pony car, it's not a thoroughbred car. It's not a secretariat car. It's a pony car. And ponies are something a child wants before they're old enough to understand the duality of man and the crippling pain, pain of, of life, life that is only relieved by the sweet release of death. Hey mom, there's this new website you could search anything across the web on. I think it's called Goggle or something. Hey, wanna come over and play the new Need for Speed 3 on my PlayStation? Hey, grab a couple cans of Surge, let's go hit the town. That's what this car was all about. So to put it in this box and say, oh, it's not a V8, it's not a manual, it's not fast, and to completely disregard it, well, you're missing the point. The V6 automatic is about slowing down and smelling the roses, enjoying this beautiful back road that I'm on. This is a great car for nice, Sunday drives like this. I might just sit here and enjoy myself for a little bit. Today ain't so bad. <sighs> Today ain't so bad. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Huge thank you to Drew for letting me take out his 1998 Ford Mustang. I am so happy to finally get this car under my belt, to finally drive this generation of Mustang. It is absolutely huge, and I'm very, very thankful to Drew. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to rate the video, comment on the video, and subscribe if you really liked it. Take care, guys.